So, after having to wait six long months that honestly felt like an eternity, Mushoku Tensei is finally back with season 2 part 2. And this is my blind thoughts as an anime only going over the first episode along with my review. And now, without wasting any more time, let's dive in. One thing that surprised me this first episode was the fact that we start right where we left off in part 1. This felt more like episode 13 rather than the beginning of a new part in the story. And before anyone comments, this is not a bad thing. Unless you somehow already forgot everything that happened in the first part and wanted a recap or something. This first episode feels like Mushoku never left us even though I was absolutely starved for 6 months. The episode mostly revolves around Rudeus, Cliff and Sanoba going over to a haunted mansion so that Rudeus can get a juicy discount on the house he's planning to buy for Sylphie. And the house part is once again more great world building from this series. So apparently the men in this world have to buy a house before they propose for marriage to show their worth. And this also explains why Paul's house was so small despite being from a noble family. Because if I recall correctly, Paul did not have a good relationship with his family and that would have been the only house he could afford on his own. And even though the story is set in medieval fantasy world where buying a whole ass house was way more common, it's funny to imagine if you were required to buy a house before proposing in this day and age. A ghost hunting quest was honestly a nice and chill way to start off this new part. Also, this entire section also reminded me of that Konosuba episode where the gang has to clear out a haunted mansion. Both have some really nice vibes and it's fun to see the characters just hanging out. And that's exactly why the jump scare took me by surprise. I was not expecting to get scared while watching Mushoku, but here we are. Also, I absolutely love the shot of Rudeus being scared by the doll. I know it's just the first episode and it could get worse later on, but the production quality thankfully looks a lot better than the second half of season 2 part 1. We're most likely not gonna reach the same heights as season 1, but I really hope Bind can at least manage to maintain this level of quality for the average episodes and hopefully we get something decent for the special ones. Moving on. It was funny as hell seeing both Rudeus and Cliff about to shit their pants while Zanoba is tanking all the hits like a Giga Chad. And the Zanoba stocks only go higher in this episode. Zanoba asking if he himself can research on the autonomous stalls was such a nice moment. And the moment where he ends up breaking the door was actually a really great moment as well. Because if you notice, when he ends up destroying the door, both Cliff and Rudeus look a bit disappointed. And even though Zanoba acts like he doesn't care in this moment, it was probably a factor on why he decided to take the first step and work towards finding a way where he can help Rudeus without ruining things because of his super strength. Some really nice character writing from Mushoku as usual. It always feels like the characters are constantly growing, even the side characters such as Zanoba. And it's easily one of my favorite aspects of this series. Really interested in seeing how Zanoba grows from now on. And side note, but his relationship and seeing how much he cares for Julie is really wholesome. And the wholesomeness doesn't end there, because Rudy and Sylphie almost gave me diabetes around the end of the episode. And their talk at the bed was such an unexpectedly mature moment from Rudeus. When Sylphie is feeling bad that she can't really settle down yet, Rudy supports her and tells her to do what she wants to do, along with telling her that they can just communicate with each other if they have any problems. And the communication part is really important because that's basically the reason why his relationship with Therese fell apart so badly. And he's taking the proper steps to make sure that it doesn't happen again with Sylphie. Also, the last thing I want to mention is that even though the episode ends on a very wholesome note with Sylphie agreeing to Rudeus's marriage proposal, I have a very bad feeling about Sylphie asking Rudeus to not leave her. This feels like a massive red flag and I am not ready for it. Especially because being separated would be the last thing she wants when they finally reunited after so many years apart. And those are basically my thoughts on the first episode of this part. As I already mentioned, I am pretty much blind when it comes to Mushoku Tensei. So I would really appreciate it if you guys don't spoil light novel in the comment section. But aside from that, let me know how you guys feel about this episode. 
was this episode worth the wait and how do you guys feel about the production quality compared to the first part with all that being said though leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing to the channel for more mushoku tensei and anime content